need to simplify workflow management and make it more effective, our flowchart collection provides customizable slides that can be used for any scenario. It includes slides for PERP flowchart, user journey flows, standard operating procedure, SIPOP flow, root cause analysis, and many more. Let's review how these tools work and how each one can bring clarity and efficiency to what you do. PERT flowcharts are designed to be used for project management. It stands for Project Evaluation and Review Technique. Use it during the planning phase of a project to determine when to start tasks and which tasks need to be prioritized. The connectors with arrows show task dependencies. These are tasks that can't be started or finished until another task starts or finishes. PERT also includes critical path, which is a flow that spans the most consecutive dependent tasks. Because of that, it's critical to the project's success. Having all the tasks laid out in this way will help you estimate the duration of the critical path and the project as a whole. Another commonly used flowchart is the user journey flow, which is an essential part of product design and development. User journeys show the steps that a user would take to use a product or complete a specific task within the product. Take a look at Zoom. When Zoom designed their user flows, they kept in mind what people wanted and how fast they wanted it. Zoom's user flow makes it so people can get on calls quickly. In just five clicks or less, users can open a meeting room and invite people to a video chat. Amazon is another company that's mastered the user flow. While it ships about 1.6 million packages a day, each customer goes through roughly the same purchasing flow. One way Amazon succeeds in its user flow is that it lets users browse for whatever they want before they have to log in. If it had placed the login requirement before it showed its value, potential buyers might have gone elsewhere to buy their stuff. Every digital project has essential tasks that every user has to complete, and a user flow can help identify where and when to put major decision points. And remember, if you like the tools in this presentation, you can download and customize it for your needs right now. The Standard Operating Procedure Flowchart, or SOP, is one that might look familiar to those who work in large teams. SOP clarifies the procedure and protocol that all team members should follow so there's no confusion. Trello boards are a common SOP tool. They let users write detailed task descriptions, assign them to a specific team, and create dependencies between tasks, even if those tasks involve a different team. Trello saw the need for tools to help align teams, and customers saw the value. It grew from zero to 500,000 users within two years, and two years later, it hit nearly 5 million users. Every company needs a way to get teams on the same workflow, and SOP flowcharts remain the most popular way to do that. The SIPOC flowchart is a great way to show a high-level view of your processes when many internal and external stakeholders are involved. SIPOC stands for Suppliers, Inputs, Processes, Outputs, and Customers. SIPOC is often used for process improvement. By mapping out all the important components, they help identify bottlenecks on where certain steps can be eliminated. A SIPOC diagram can help answer questions like, can we improve the way we manage our suppliers? Or are we delivering our product in the most efficient way possible? Not only can flowcharts be used to improve business processes, but they can also be used as a personal productivity system to improve our personal lives. In most cases, whether it's a personal or business problem, the first thing we blame is not always the root cause. That's why it's recommended to use the five whys methodology to break down the problem and identify the root cause of it all. The getting things done flowchart helps prioritize tasks at hand and shows what to tackle first based on urgency, ease of completion, and relevancy. For each task on your to-do list, run it through this flowchart to see if it should be done right away, save for later, or hand it off to someone else. It won't be long before the to-do list is a done list. Uncover new ways to visualize processes, organize teams, improve existing workflows, and envision new ways of doing things with this flowchart presentation, which you can download and customize right now. After that, go check out our Kanban board video for more resources on how to improve productivity both in work and in your personal life. Thanks for watching.